St. Vincent's Medical Center offers TAVR, a revolutionary non-surgical procedure for cardiac patients suffering from aortic stenosis who have no treatment options left. St. Vincent's was the first hospital in Fairfield County and the third in the state to introduce the life-saving procedure. TAVR, or transcatheter aortic valve replacement, brings new hope to patients with aortic stenosis who are not considered candidates for traditional open-heart surgery. These patients, who typically suffer from other medical conditions, advanced age, or are generally frail, can now have an aortic valve replaced with a prosthetic one via the femoral artery accessed in the groin area. Now with the advent of the transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedure, uh, these patients have a safer and uh, more durable uh, way to undergo that procedure with a very rapid recovery, um, which allows them to ambulate early and be discharged from the hospital uh, in an early fashion. But what we're seeing so far is about four to six days uh, postoperatively, the patients are discharged from the hospital, where traditionally these patients would run risks of prolonged hospitalizations, some up to 20 to 30 days if there was any type of setback um, post-surgically. For the TAVR procedure, a catheter carrying the tiny Edward Sapien valve made of natural material is inserted into the aorta after a small incision is made at the groin. St. Vincent's physicians use state-of-the-art imaging available in the hospital's hybrid OR to guide the catheter to the heart and then squeeze it into place by inflating a tiny balloon. The TAVR procedure is highly complex and requires special skill, sophisticated technology, and a team of cardiac experts all working collaboratively. St. Vincent's sees that this is something that we can do well. Uh, we have all of the uh, prerequisite skill sets, um, technologies, for example, very complex interventional cardiology, very complex cardiac surgery, uh, radiology, vascular surgery. It requires anesthesia at a very high level with cardiac anesthesia, cardiology, echocardiography. It's, it's really, if you don't have all the parts, you can't put them together. So first you have to decide if you have all those at your institution. And, and fortunately here at St. Vincent's, being a very strong cardiology and cardiac surgery based hospital, uh, it was a natural progression of our program to grow into this next level of therapy for our patients. To ensure team effectiveness and patient safety with so many disciplines involved in TAVR, St. Vincent's took the bold step of bringing in Joe Brown, a healthcare safety consultant and an airline pilot from a major airline to train staff members. Brown transferred to the TAVR project many of the safety principles that make the airline industry a highly reliable one driven by standardization of procedures. St. Vincent's introduced changes such as color-coded surgical caps worn by each medical specialty for easy identification and the call-out where a leader calls out and takes charge overall for a period of time akin to the principle of someone is always flying the plane. Uh, St. Vincent's commitment to safety is unlike any I've ever seen in healthcare. This is really a visionary um, approach towards safety and quality management. Um, I don't believe there's anybody else in the world that has taken this kind of approach with an airline pilot to essentially build the program from the ground up, you know, with the assistance and, and the subject matter expertise of the clinical staff and the vendor especially, uh, but to be able to do this in, in totality as an integrated system whole versus just little snippets of safety tools that, that are available is really revolutionary. The groundbreaking procedure, up to now only performed at major academic medical centers, is another achievement in St. Vincent's long history of cardiac innovation.